want to start this week's video um, with a good mate of mine has been trying to sort himself out to go to America uh, to go work on, well I'm assuming the harvest, uh, but anyway, um, what with the fact that I've been mad busy and he had a lot to sort that turned out to be a bit of a mayhem, um, by the time I realised when he was going, he'd already gone, so I missed taking him for a drink and wishing him good luck. So I just want to say, right at the start of this video, Chris Morecambe, don't let do the door at your arse on the way out. So with that done and dusted, um, this week's, I was actually thinking this week's video today would have been a good job because it'd been a big muck out with a big triaxle trailer all in the muck off and two telehandlers loading it. It all looked really cool, but I left me mounts. Um, in fact, I'm not entirely sure where I've left me mount. So, um, anyway, tomorrow I was supposed to be coming down here to me mates, which, as you can tell, he, he, he's the one that owns my Massey. Um, he has some bales to move and bits and pieces. Um, I'd already spoke to him and I think, yeah, I spoke to him this morning. And, yeah, yeah, spot on, I can do that up tomorrow. Um, and he phones me again sort of this, this afternoon time and uh saw his number come up he's like what the hell's he miling me for he knows i'm coming tomorrow he's all this lot um so answer the phone to him hey all right man how we doing um not good my wrapper's fallen to pieces um so tomorrow's job is trying to look get this back together um He's told me roughly what it is, but I've not actually seen it. I've just come down now just to have a look, just to get a bit of a, get it in my head what's, what's gone, going on to try and figure out how best to put it back together. Um, it's down here somewhere. Ah, ooh. Oh, Christ. Oh, bloody hell. I found it. Right, we'll get underneath here. Oh, Christ. Uh, that's where it's gone. I thought, because I, I knew we had a crack here, which is I thought, which is where I thought it had gone. Um, I didn't know about that crack, but it's one of them. We kept thinking about how it is when he he said his wrapper is gone. That's where I thought it it sheared off here. That's going to be that's going to be some work to get that back together. I mean, you see, I mean, you see by my finger, that's, that sort of five, six mil plate. Um, I think the only way we're going to do this, which is going to be interesting, take this pin out here, this pin out here, that pin out there, take the table off all together. Um, there's going to be some pipes and bits because there's these rollers are driven off a off a motor which is which side oh it must be at the front Ugh. oh it's the wrong end of the day to be crawling around on the floor <laughs> oh there we go Yeah, you've got a hydraulic motor here. So we can disconnect, it's the easiest one, disconnect them pipes. Uh, I'll put a, a cable tie, some coloured cable ties on there and there so we don't get the pot, them the wrong way around. And then lift that whole section off. That'll give me a good view down into here. We'll have to disconnect 
that there so we can just move them pipes. I'm getting tangled up in things here. Oh, we can disconnect them there as well. We move all that pipe work out of the way. Um, then it's just going to be a case of go nuts for the big hammer. Try and get it back straight. And then weld it back into situ. That's a lot worse than I thought it was. And that's going to be... Well, he did... His exact words were, it's not going to be a five-minute job. And you know what? So, we'll pick this back up tomorrow morning, we'll start stripping down, and we'll see where we get to. So, um, yeah, we've got the beat box to sort out, and then bales to cart are now. We've got the wrapper to repair, which, as we've seen, is going to be interesting. Uh, we also still have this to sort out. She doesn't sound good. So, yeah, I still have no idea what's going on with the truck. Um, I've decided to take it out of my hands. I've got a garage looking at it because I went as far as I can go with it and it just needs sorting. Right, so this is it, the big test. It's all stitched back together. It's taken a fair bit to get it back together and get everything back lined up. Uh, the one pin was a bit stiff to go in. That was partly my fault because when I've welded the, the strengthening plate in, it's caused one bracket to just kink over a bit with heat with the welding, but it's all back together. It's all there. So we're going to go down now and rescue the two bales that um, he couldn't wrap um, when it went wrong. He's, uh, he's got a friend in to, to finish it off with the fusion. And uh, this is the test really and see if what we've done is going to work. It should do, I can't see any reason why not. But, you know, it's been a fair upheaval on the machine. I think by the sound of it it might have just about sealed the fate of the machine but it's got to persevere at least until we can find a replacement Wrapping the bail. It's finished wrapping the bail. Now this was the crucial one. Tip. Bed's tilted. So, looks like we're back in business. As you can see, this is some funny old stuff down here. Um, it's a case of pick where you're going and be careful what you're doing. So, just grabbing the next bail. Hopefully, it doesn't go in the stream. <laughs> Very careful on where you pick on this because it is 
There is there isn't much of a bottom to this stuff down here. I think our windows need to clean again, lads. Here we go. Shoes in. Excuse me, just had dinner. Nice homemade wrap. Grabbed it, picked it, flicked it. That one is bloody heavy. Ah, well, I mean, this, this is what's done the wrapper, isn't it? Well, what, what's not out the situation. Yeah. Nearly sticking the back of the shaft of that one was. The other one wants to burn. Definitely want the weights on when we come to shift them then. So that's it, she's working. We're trying to shift bales off that funny ground, which if you look there, yeah, it is funny ground. Um, basically trying not to get stuck. So it's made, made more interest. Hey, this is, this is proper pink bog down here and it's made even more interesting by the fact that um, yesterday afternoon we had an awful lot of rain so yeah this is why uh, we've got the Massey on the on the trailer and the load is working on its own just because big tractor in front of the trailer just to keep us on the right side of it so I don't know if anything interesting is going to happen but if it does, it'll be on camera. Right, this was all fun and games, but I've fairly sunk in here. Can't really tell on the camera.
Oh, and by the way, it's rain, raining now as well, so we're on a peat bog in the rain. You know, because it, it's just where you want to be, isn't it? We've got this load and one more, and we're done. Oh, there we go up the other end. And to be fair, we've only got half a half dozen bales to get out of the real sticky spots. Right, so in the machine again since it's the weather. Here you see, uh, got this little bit of to do, and we're thinking about another 10 acres. But we're going to call that it for this video. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a grubby thumbs up. Um, if you enjoy what I do, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button down there somewhere and ring that little bell. That way, you'll get a notification on videos every time they come out which providing I can get it out in time and things don't go wrong videos will be six o'clock Sunday morning every morning except for when it doesn't so I hope you enjoyed watching this something a bit different bit bit of bit of uh, fabrication sort of repair work and uh, I'll see you next week <laughs>